Hi everybody, this is John Seville from Acorn Wealth. This is your executive summary for the 15th of December. Let's get cracking. Uh, we spoke last week about the uh, head and shoulders appearing on the S&P 500 and uh, we saw a really good break of that over these last two days. So for those of you who missed it, just zoom in here. There's the uh, take off these Fibonacci's and we'll, you see that we left with a nice little uh, head and shoulder here. So we were when we published the last executive summary, we were rallying up into that resistance, and I talked about that being an area I was looking to tack on shorts. And um, of course, we've had a beautiful drop now, uh, dropping through that zone. You can see the uh, uh, the potential head and shoulder uh, extension comes down from the break there, which brings us to exactly where we basically hit an intraday low of, uh, that 1980 zone that I mentioned uh, last week on Thursday. So, um, having a look at uh, some of the potential uh, uh, setups, uh, just a quick river, um, look back on Adobe. Uh, we talked about that uh, gap up um, into resistance. Uh, as a shorting opportunity after good earnings, we had a, a, a beautiful gap up there. The um, the uh, seventy dollar puts, which I own, um, which I have a position in, uh, show up about seventy odd percent today. So uh, those look uh, healthy. We should hopefully see this drop down to at least that seventy dollar price out of this uh, resistance zone. Uh, looking at a couple of new uh, new stocks that I've got on my watch list. This one I've uh, will be putting in a order to short for tomorrow. Uh, CDW. Um, you can see we've got a descending triangle here, so we've got equal equal lows and uh, declining tops. And if we have a look over here at the uh, insider trading, uh, this is a different one here. We'll just go to CDW first. Um, you, you've got uh, selling broad base selling uh, really across the board. So um, we've got lots of different uh, lots of different names, uh, some very high dollar figures as well, and very recent. So that's, uh, that's very interesting, obviously. And if we have a look at the institutions, there's nothing to offset that on the buy side. So uh, uh, I like CDW, and um, I'm looking at that as a, uh, uh, looking at that as a short. Uh, I'm looking to uh, enter that as a short once it breaks this support level, or <clears throat> possibly if it gets a little rally up to 34, I'll look to take it there. So either on the break or on the rally up. And uh, I'm looking for a, uh, for a, a, um, a drop down to this uh, down to this area here at uh, 31 30, uh, 37 which is uh, from 34 would give us about a three dollar or almost 10 percent um, uh, drop so there's CDW of course the money flow is also uh, negative and has uh, been moving that way for a while uh, on the uh, on the buy side um, this was one that we talked about a little while back um, in our executive summary, uh, looking at that uh, 4250 zone as an area we're interested in buying that. Now, I haven't bought this yet myself. Um, I, um, I will be looking at that tomorrow. But this has got um, this has had some very strong divergence on the money flow. You can see this has been going steadily up as the stock's been going steadily down. So that's the kind of divergence that we want to see if we're going to get a uh, you know that kind of hidden um, um, edge on the trade, right? So. Um, uh, let's have a quick look again over at the uh, insiders. And if we take a look on uh, AGCO, there we go. Should be popping up. There we go. So you can see we've got a bit of a different uh, story here than we saw on uh, CDW. Here we've actually got um, um, a fairly good accumulation of buying all around this $51 price all the way down to 42 So there's been some uh, accumulation there from the smart money and that's kind of made it an interesting story. Uh, again, we've already talked about this, but uh, it, it did have a very nice day again, moving counter trend to the market, down day in the market, up day for CDW. And you can see it's bounced off that $42 price nicely. And we then also got this, uh, this uh, uh, declining channel, which typically will then revert to the opposite direction. So you can see this strong accumulation here. Uh, it looks, if you look at this chart, it looks a lot like AAN, which is one of our um, uh, stocks that came up in our long scan. Again, you can see that similarity, that declining channel with accumulation diverging in the opposite direction. Again, and that had a beautiful rally from 24 all the way up to uh, almost 30 bucks. And uh, so if you look, look at AGCO, you know, we're, we're hoping that that's basically the beginning of a very similar uh, trade. So um, uh, those are our two for the executive summary tonight. Hope you have a wonderful week trading, and we'll see you again in the next video. Take care.